Hi, everyone, and welcome to our visit with the Bay Area Hip Hop Archives. This is San Francisco Public Library coming at you. I'm Michelle Jeffers, the Chief of Community Programs and Partnerships, and I'm delighted to introduce this conversation. But first, we'd like to begin at the library with a land acknowledgement. The San Francisco Public Library acknowledges that we occupy the unceded ancestral homeland of the Ramatishaloni peoples. We benefit from living and working on their traditional land. As uninvited guests, we affirm their sovereign rights as First Peoples, and we wish to pay our respects to the ancestors, elders, and relatives of the Ramatish community. So welcome again to the Bay Area Hip Hop Archive. You may not know this, but San Francisco Public Library is home to the San Francisco History Center, which contains the city of San Francisco's archives. That means we archive all the official papers related to the governing of San Francisco, and we host the city's archivist. But we're even more than that. We actually archive other significant historical, political, cultural, civic movements and issues in the city, everything from archiving what the city did during the recent COVID pandemic to archiving what the city did during the AIDS pandemic in the 80s. Uh, we have many records that go back to the earthquake, the 1906 earthquake, sorry, as well as the 1989 one. Our vast photo collection and our historic maps are true treasure troves beloved by researchers. But we also really prioritize our community, we collect photos and stories of the people in the San, the San Francisco and the greater Bay Area. We have some unique collections such as a punk archive from the punk movement in San Francisco, zine collection mm -hmm. of, of you know, self-made magazines. And that's why I'm so thrilled that we're here talking to the Bay Area Hip Hop Archive and bringing to light this important 50 year long history that spans the entire Bay Area. So I'll leave it here to take it away, Mr. Jahi. Thank you. Thank you very much, Michelle. And thank you to the San Francisco Public Library. We really, really appreciate uh, having the opportunity to close out our year with you. Uh, I know you have been running all week. So again, my personal salutations and thank you as you've been very nimble with us. Um, and I'm gonna get started for today. So thank you very much. What I want to do is I'm going to start by talking about what our agenda is going to be. We had our welcome by the San Francisco Public Library, which we appreciate. Uh, we are going to introduce the curator for 2024. Uh, we'll talk about the year one, our activity. Then we'll have a special guest by 2023 Bay Area Hip Hop Archives inductee Jennifer Johns, who will speak about her archives. Uh, and then we'll do a Bay Beats shout out. Bay Beats is a new uh, program through the San Francisco Public Library, which is featuring artists from the Bay Area. And I'm happy to report I'm a part of that community and really happy about that. Uh, I'll share the mindfulness video that's connected to uh, my Bay Beats album. And then we are out. I'm actually going to shift the uh, agenda a little bit as we wait for our new curator to join us. Um, but I want to talk about, first of all, year one. In 2022, I had the idea of what can we do to not just celebrate hip hop and celebrate us on the 50th anniversary, but what was a legacy project that we could do that would outlive all of us, celebrate us, and also preserve us? Uh, I also would be remiss if I didn't shout out my my elders like KRS-One and Chuck D um, in particular who were talking about what can we do for hip hop culture because hip hop culture has done so much for us. So out of those brainstorms and ideas and sessions uh, came the idea of the Bay Area Hip Hop Archives. And in 2023, we actually activated and started our mission. And what I'd like to do right now is just talk about a little th few things that we've been able to accomplish. In 2023, we were able to do two inductions. We were able to induct 55 Bay Area hip hop artists, activists, and educators. We have acquired nine collections to start. We launched our first website, phase one, in October. And we had one community celebration of hip hop's 50th birthday, Shout out to OMCA, the Oakland Museum of California, because that was our venue where we did it in collaboration with them for Hip Hop 50. And then we have a new curatorial announcement for 2024. 
We also have put forth what we call the council, which will handle all future inductions. And right now I'm happy to say that we have 55 new inductees confirmed for the first induction for 2024. What I'd also like to do right now is take the time to give out some compliments. We have recognized that it is not a, our slogan for Bay Area Hip Hop Archives is this, it's not about me, it's not about you, it's about preserving us. And so I wanna take the time to actually give props to all 55 inductees and put this on community record because there is no archive without our community. There's been a lot of conversations around whether or not the Bay Area was celebrated or if we did our job in celebrating the 50th anniversary of hip hop. We salute all of the other great things that happened. Uh, E-40 got a street named after him. Tupac got a street named after him. Empire did a 50th anniversary uh, with Too Short was there. Soul Beat did an event. Conscious Daughters did their 30th anniversary. Uh, there were so many great events that happened in the 50th anniversary of hip hop and we salute all of them. And what I wanna do is salute our community that came together under the idea of preservation. So I'm actually gonna give props to all of the names that you see on the screen here. And I'm gonna start from the bottom and head to the top. Uh, shout out to Zumbi Games. Uh, one half of the legendary group Zion I, rest in peace, an incredible MC that we have not forgotten you, brother, and we look forward to preserving you. Shout out to Zakia Harris with her shapeshifter movement. Uh, we look forward to uh, preserving her archives. A little known fact, uh, Zakia Harris was a part of Grind for the Green, the first solar powered hip hop concert in the Bay Area. Shout out to my brother, Ram, for True School for over 20 years. He's been providing hip hop information via his website and is one, one super dope DJ. Shout out to Tracy Bartlow. Tracy Bartlow is our queen of dance and, and photography. Uh, and she's an entrepreneur. She is a true essence of Oakland and represents hip hop very well. RIP to Tony Coleman. Tony Coleman is really important to me. I have to hit myself on the chest for that because he really was uh, instrumental in me being in the Bay today and really is an OG of hip hop activism. I'm glad we were able to connect with his sons um, because we will be preserving his legacy. Shout out to Tim House. It's a name that you probably see, but you don't see him often because he's normally behind the scenes making great things happen in hip hop in the Bay. We salute you. Timbisa Mshaka, we're talking about one whole legend uh, from the Gavin era to Mills College to being an executive in the music industry, working with people like Miss Lauren Hill and Nas. We are currently working on her collection right now, and I can tell you that it's stunning. Uh, shout out to Falila Muhammad and Will Power of the Upper Room, the legendary sober free community space uh, in the Bay Area in the 90s that was really a, a safe haven for hip hop culture to thrive and political education as well. Shout out to my homie Dregs One, the History of the Bay podcast. He is a champion of preserving legendary stories from the Bay. Check him out on YouTube and all of his socials, some incredible conversations that he's had. Uh, and we are happy to be able to add another layer of protection to make sure that these stories are available for the next generation. Shout out to OG and pioneer Terry T, Mr. Community Butler. Uh, his work um, is legendary in the community, working with uh, the community he has over 25 million records sold. Uh, and he's one of the original OGs of the 80s, um, as well as a part of the council moving forward, making sure that we include the original OGs in our archive. Uh, shout out to the queen, my sister, uh, West Coast champion, uh, Sugar T. You know, we honor you, we salute you. We know that your significance is important and we look forward to 
creating your archive, especially uh, documenting all of your lyrics, because I think you're on album number 24 or 25, which is truly, truly historical. Shout out to Spirit Works. Uh, shout out to, to Mama Mizan and Sizwe, who have not only been doing cultural work inside of schools, but also making music and also making cultural movements uh, for from deep East Oakland all over the Bay. We appreciate you. Shout out to the, the Fillmore champion, San Quinn. Uh, if you get a chance, check out the History of the Bay podcast. Uh, he did a great interview. Uh, really good brother, has represented hip hop uh, in the Bay, um, is one of our champions. Uh, shout out to my brother, Sake One. Uh, I always uh, laugh and joke with him. I say all of my early uh, events, flyers, posters, you always saw Sake One, uh, an incredible DJ and also an incredible advocate um, and champion for hip hop culture overall. Shout out to uh, graffiti artist Reefer One. Uh, we see you in the community uh, representing the Black Panther Party very, very well on the streets of Oakland. Uh, we are honored that you are a part of our community, that we can preserve you. Uh, shout out to the legends, RBL Posse, uh, man, Black Sea, man, representing 30 years of hip hop culture. Man, we salute you. We salute you. Shout out to the brother Ray Love. Ray Love, we look forward to preserving your history and legacy and telling your story because your story is very important. And we honor and salute all of the great work that you're doing, preserving the story and legacy of Tupac Shakur. Uh, the street name and ceremony was legendary. Ra Ceylon, uh, shout out to that brother. Uh, he's probably in school right now. He's a headmaster of the Northern Light School, but he's also uh, been representing socially conscious hip hop uh, since the early 90s. Uh, and working with Chairman Fred and just being all over the world, being a great ambassador for hip hop culture. Shout out to my brother Festo D, representing 30 years of Souls of Mischief. Shout out to the whole Hyro crew. Uh, I'm sure Festo is somewhere in the world representing hip hop, but I just want to make sure that we publicly salute you and honor your legacy. Um, uh, peace and respect to Pacoya Manigo. Uh, hip hop activist champion. I'm sure right now she's probably advocating for some housing, for some support, for some community, for some young person uh, right now in the Bay. Um, hip hop activism truly matters. Shout out to the big brother, my big bro, Paris, the Black Panther of hip hop. His uh, contribution and support from day one for the Bay Area Hip Hop Archives has been a motivation and inspiration for me. Uh, his legacy, um, his ability to continue to speak truth to power. Uh, we are uh, almost done with his collection, and I can't wait for you all to see it. Today is Pam the Functress' birthday. So RIP to Pam the Functress. You are not forgotten. We miss you, and we look forward to making sure that the future generation knows your legacy, and we inspire the next women DJs to get on the ones and twos and represent the way you did. Shout out to the Queens, Oak Towns 357, uh, Sweet LD, Terrible T, and Little P. Thank you for coming to our 50th anniversary of hip hop celebration. It was the talk of the town and we look forward to 2024 to get to your archives. Uh, shout out to the Urban Peace Movement and Nicole Lee. Nicole Lee is one of my day ones, another hip hop activist champion right now, uh, working behind the scenes to make sure that we shift the narrative around how we talk about Oakland and how we show love for Oakland. So really support your work. Shout out to the goddess, uh, mystic, uh, MC champion. She's probably somewhere, uh, working with first graders right now, but we want to salute and respect you. We, we look forward to putting your legacy, um, in special collections so people can see all of your greatness. Shout out to Media Circus. Media Circus, the first uh, Strutters uh, dance crew in the Bay Area hip hop. Fazo and all of the guys really, really appreciate you all. You turned it out on the 50th anniversary of hip hop. And we look forward to getting into those archives so people can know that Pop and Lock and Strutt and Boogaloo are West Coast origins 
and be able to lift up your name in history. Shout out to Mark Bamuti Joseph. Oh, that brother uh, just, uh, it is, he just released his most recent work in New York City called The Watch, uh, vice president of the Kennedy Center. Uh, we had an opportunity to get his first Zoom call in for the archives. And I can tell you that his story is legendary. It is going to inspire generations and generations. And his Bay Area story is wonderful to hear. Uh, shout out to Jennifer Johns. When I first mentioned this idea to her, her answer to me is I am hip hop. I look forward to her tapping in with us in about 10 or 15 minutes to talk a little bit about her archives. Um, salute to the brother Jeff Chang. Uh, Can't Stop, Won't Stop, the original version as well as the youth version. Uh, we look forward to preserving your words and works because we need future writers. Uh, shout out to the brother Hadari Davis with uh, Edutainment for Equity and also Life is Living, just coming off a great Life is Living, bringing a community together, drums, b-boys, b-girls, graffiti writers. Uh, we look forward to continuing your legacy, uh, and I can't wait to show the community the early banners from Life is Living that I have. Uh, peace and respect to Kay Bacante. Not only is he representing Red Bay Coffee uh, to the fullest, he is also an incredible photojournalist and we have over a hundred slides to start of his archive from 1991 to 1994, and he has everybody. Uh, I can't wait for you all to see those photos. Peace and respect to the queen, Erica Huggins. The Black Panther Party matters. She is hip hop to us. Uh, I look forward to you all being able to see the 50th anniversary of the Oakland Community School by the Black Panther Party exhibit that opens in 2024, which is a part of Erica's legacy, which will 50 years ago when hip hop started, there also was a school that started right here in Oakland. And I can't wait for you all to see that. Shout out to the great writer, Eric Arnold, KQED and beyond. He has been down by law since day one, one of the champions of the pen of writing about our historical uh, significance in the Bay Area. I look forward to preserving your works and writings. Um, shout out to Dominique the Prima, Home Turf. Uh, Home Turf was uh, uh, before MTV, it was the place on Cron 4 where hip hop lived, uh, from her kicking rhymes to interviewing so many Bay Area champions. We are happy to be able to get into those tapes and preserve those stories. Uh, shout out to DJ True Justice. I'm sure he's out somewhere DJing or booking uh, great artists and activists. Thank you for your work. Uh, salute to DJ Quest, the last DJ who, of um, the Jacka, uh, who now works in uh, Congre Congresswoman Barbara Lee's office. We salute you. Oh, uh, man. Shout out to Shortcut. Shortcut just got off of one incredible tour, the Force Tour with LL Cool J. We look forward to preserving your legacy. And, and look, I need those photos in your phone from that entire tour. Uh, my man, DJ Kevy Kev, a part of the longest running hip hop show in the world, uh, the Stanford, the drum. Um, and not only that, was behind the scenes with the early part of the wake up show and just one incredible brother. Uh, shout out to the homie, uh, DJ D Sharp, uh, the DJ for the Golden State Warriors. And not only that, he is Oakland through and through. His legacy matters. Shout out to MacArthur Mays, his latest group and latest movements in hip hop, continuing to push hip hop forward. Check them out. To the legends, DJ Fuse, Mystic, Money B, RIP to Shock G, Digital Underground. Thank you for coming to our 50th anniversary of hip hop celebration. We really, really look forward in 2024 to get into your archives. Uh, to the big homie, uh, Deuce Eclipse, uh, Bang Data, part of Zion I, uh, incredible MC. We look forward to preserving your lyrics, your lyrics and lyricism, your socially conscious community stance for over 20 years is going to be important to inspire future generations. Shout out to hip hop historian, legend Davey D. Um, we have been able to digitize 
500 cassettes and 50 reels of his collection. His collection will be one of the first nine unveiled in February 2024. RIP to Dangerous Dame, OG legend from Oakland, contemporary of Too Short. Shout out to his wife and family. We support you and salute you. Thank you for coming out. Um, the Underground. Thank you, brothers. You know, thank you, thank you, thank you for your archival work and, and interesting interviews uh, around political education, Blackness, and our culture. Shout out to the homies Crown City Rockers, uh, from Cat to Head Nodic to Rayshawn, uh, to everybody over in Crown City Rockers, San Francisco legends, um, legends of live hip hop. Uh, it is important for us to preserve your legacy so people can see how to continue to use live instrumentation as we represent hip hop culture. Conscious Daughters, man, salute, salute, salute to Carla, uh, RRP to Special One. I mean, we know 30 years legacy. Um, you all had a great event celebrating 30 years, and we are looking forward to preserving that. So uh, 300 years from now, people know that Conscious Daughters was here. Um, shout out to CJ Flash. Uh, I think he just got finished DJing the Tony, Tony, Tony after party. Uh, been DJing for 40 years and salute to the world famous Rick and Russ show. Um, shout out to uh, my man, Chuck Johnson, Soul Beat. You know, we can't, we cannot say enough about Soul Beat, how important it was, the legacy. Um, and we see you. Um, salute to Capital Tax, Bay Area Legends. Uh, shout out to Penn Darvis. Thank you for the recommendation. We represent the underseen and underserved, and we know that people haven't talked about you enough, so we want to make sure that we have you in there. Oh, man. Uh, congratulations to Brett Cook, recently named the Legacy Artist uh, via um, California Arts Council. Incredible. Uh, not only just a graffiti artist, but B-boy as well, too, and great human being. Um, Black Alicious. Peace and respect to Chief XL. We had a great interview that's up on our YouTube page and on our Instagram page talking about his legacy. And RIP to my brother, Gifted Gab, you are not forgotten. We, we, we miss you and we will make sure that your legacy will live on. Look out for the new Black Alicia's record. Uh, Boots Riley, man, what can we say, man? From the cool to I'm a Virgo, uh, such an incredible human being. Um, we have already started conversations around his archive. And, and when you see some of the sketches from some of his works, his transition from emceeing into film, it will inspire future generations and future filmmakers and future videographers and emcees. Peace and respect to Ankh Marketing, Kamel, uh, working behind the scenes right now, doing what he always does, which brings legendary concerts uh, to the Bay Area on Friday. He is welcoming Miss Loring Hill to the Chase Center. Um, we have 20 years of posters. He's a part of our first nine collections that we will share on February uh, 3rd, 2024. Shout out to Anita Johnson, uh, KPFA, uh, hip hop activism on radio. We salute you. Uh, shout out to my sis, Aima the Dreamer, uh, representing the females on the microphone, the films that she would say, uh, we, we, we really respect you. And I ended this way because uh, the last person on our list is Adisa Banjoko. And he wasn't able to join us this morning, but as I close out, I wanna say that part of our announcement for 2024 is that Adisa Banjoko will be our co-curator for the Bay Area Hip Hop Archives for 2024. Adisa is down by law. You know his history um, from curating events with hip hop and chess to respect at OMCA, um, to his work with combining mindfulness, jujitsu with hip hop culture. He was a, a perfect fit for us to be able to have our uh, legacy move forward. It was never my idea to be the main curator for the Bay Area Hip Hop Archives. Uh, every year we will announce uh, new curators. So in 2024, it's Adisa. I can tell you that in 2025 and 2026, it will be a woman. 
um, to make sure that we do balance. We've had two men, myself and Adisa, then we will have two women and we will continue to do that. Uh, Adisa cares about hip hop culture. He cares about legacy. Uh, he has done great work in the community. And I look forward to sharing a future conversation with me and Adisa uh, around his work and what his plans are for 2024. So I wanted to make sure I got that out the way. Salute to one and all, because we know that shout outs matter. What I wanna do now as we wait for Jennifer Johns to join us is I wanna talk about what's at stake. The reason why we're doing the Bay Area Hip Hop Archives is that if we don't preserve ourselves, our history, our narratives, our legacy, we will be erased from history. As we are watching states uh, and school districts ban books and, and determine what people can read and what they can't read, we know that our history is now even more important. So we are doing this to make sure that we are not erased. Hip hop culture is 50 years old. Uh, I've said to our community that at our best, even with our diet and exercise, we probably won't make it to the 100th anniversary of hip hop. But our legacy will be intact through our archives. Future generations need to know that we were here, what we did, and why it's important so they can continue forward. We want a young person in the community, in Oakland, Richmond, Vallejo, San Francisco, and all parts of the Bay to become the next great MCs, DJs, graffiti writers, uh, breakers, popper, lockers, and strutters, fashion designers, beatboxing, beatboxers, linguistics, the next entrepreneurs and producers. We also want young people to be the next archivists and museum curators and librarians as well too, because we need all of that because that is the way that this culture continues forward. By creating our own physical collections, we safeguard ourselves from the future digital crash. Physical items matter. So in 2024, we will not only have some things available online via our website, bayareahiphoparchives.org, but we are building physical collections. You will have to come to Oakland to the Dr. Huey P. Newton Center uh, and sit down and research physical items because we wanna make sure that you not only hear about us, but see these physical items, see these materials and have a chance to research us in a, in a whole new way. The Bay is more, more than what commercial media shows and shares. We salute the commercial media and what we see, but we also know that the underseen, underserved, and underappreciated folks who are champions of hip hop culture matter, we matter. And with that, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think we have a, a special guest uh, that is about to join us. Uh, she is my sister. Uh, she is hip hop through and through. Uh, you know, see, when she starts smiling, look, I can change this whole conversation. It matters. Um, I said it earlier. I'll say it again. When I, when I mentioned this idea about the Bay Area Hip Hop Archives tour, her answer was, I am hip hop. And we already know what that is. So, Ladies and gentlemen, 2023 Bay Area Hip Hop Archives inductee, Jennifer Johns. Good morning. What's up, fam? What's up, family? <laughs> How, are you? How are you? I'm so good. You know, I'm moving and shaking. I'm like, I got to hop on this call because it's family and it's it's hip hop. So you know how we do. Well, you know what? I, I appreciate it. This is our, our last kind of uh, community uh, share out for the year. We talked about all of the, the successes we've had. And I just wanted to have you pop in, number one, because I just appreciate seeing you whenever I can. And then also, you know, just to, to let folks know that, you know, uh, as we talked about earlier, 
preserving this legacy, preserving the way we make sure that we are, we won't be here for the 100th anniversary of hip hop, but the way that we preserve ourselves is to do these special collections. So I just wanted to, you know, the community to hear about, you know, why do you think it's important for you to preserve your legacy? Oh man, um, I think that my legacy in hip hop is unique um, because I'm a singer, because I'm a writer, um, and I think a lot of times when we're thinking about uh, hip hop artists, we're thinking about the the MC, which we all know comes last, right? Um, and I think that as a singer, uh, though I'm a, a mic controller, right? I'm not your traditional, you see what I'm saying? I'm not your traditional MC. And so my experience, I think, lets other young women and other people know that that hip hop is a culture. It's not really about the music. The music is the way that we communicate with each other. It's the way that we love up on each other, the way that we pass information and technology and so forth. But the culture is what matters. And I think that my career exemplifies that. Oh, no doubt about that. And <laughs> I, you know, yes, you a singer, but I didn't hear some bars before from you before too. So don't like... <laughs> <laughs> don't don't think that Jen just you know what I out. mean no, you know but but actually <laughs> you know it's it's the culture that sustains us and the music is our conduit but it's the culture it's the elements of the culture that that preserves us when you think about okay. your collection what's one thing you know for sure that you want to make sure that's in your collection that people get a chance to see definitely stuff from that tour we did with Gav absolutely um Man, I was thinking, I was thinking this morning, like when I got up and I was like, oh, wow, what do I want to make sure is in the collection? And I'm like, I can't wait to tell the story of when we were in Zurich. You remember that kid that scaled the, the fence to come and break dance for us? And what was so deep was that it, he, he scaled this fence, right? So he'd been in the crowd, he'd watched the show was feeling it. And we had played everything from like small clubs to like stadiums. And this was like a smaller club. Remember this, they told us that we couldn't play the music over a certain decibel. And it wasn't because they didnn't believe in live music, but they had like sound design. It's the first time I heard of like sound design like that in live space. Oh. But this young man was trying to say something to us, but we didn't speak none of the, the word languages that he spoke. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so he got a little frustrated for a second and then he just started break dancing and it was like eight of us and there was a hum. You remember that? Oh, of course I do. And I remember he like, kind of put his hands up like I'm and we just validated him in that moment. And it was yes. like hip hop is a universal. We didn't need words at that point in time. And that's the beauty of bringing us together because we was halfway around the world. But he needed to he needed to let us know that he understood what he experienced. Yeah, uh, and we did. And it was, it was, it lets you know that hip hop is bigger than race, bigger than, it's just bigger. It's bigger, it's bigger, it's a culture. And so, yeah, I'm grateful to be inducted, especially along the like, yo, the people in this class are out of control. <laughs> like the women alone are like, yes. Exactly, exactly. You know, like my sisters, a lot of mercy. I'm you know proud. what? Uh, you know, I will say, you know, we have 55 inductees and 20 of them are women. See? And because and you know what it is. Because absolutely there's there's no way that we even have an archive without you all representing. And we we can't we look forward to uh representing more. I can tell you that there are three women on the list of the first five for 2024 as well too so it's it's, it's already there and uh mm -hmm. see you got me reminiscing I was thinking about that tour also um how about Mary J Blige coming into our dressing room uh after we opened up for one week with Mary J Blige and Shaka Khan yo, uh, with yo. Black Delicious that moment yo, <laughs> yo. Or just seeing Shaka Khan every night. Like, just and Shaka Khan, you remember, and it would be like certain nights where she'd be like, you could tell at this point now you've been around her enough that she's just phoning it in for a second oh. for like the mm -hmm. first three songs. And then, then she just hit that like sweet thing and you'd be like, well, what the, 
What? Just ha- oh my! Look, and, and holding the microphone this far away Yo! from you know, I mean, but we're we're standing in the in the pit. She's talking shit on her way to the dressing room, and we're all right. Oh, Sorry, San Francisco Library. One bleep. San Francisco Library. My bad. <laughs> it was amazing. That that tour was truly life changing for me. You know, to see what independent hip hop can do. You know what I mean? To see what independent creativity can do around the world, and and to be a part of a culture that's so global. Um, you know, that that was such a special time. You know, I mean, like. We played Wembley Arena. We played Bercy Stadium. You remember Hip Hop Don't Stop? Talk about it, Hip Hop Don't Stop, where they had two stages going at the same time. Yo, song. and the bird landed on the stage while we were performing. Look, come on now. You know what, what I think about is, remember we were in Germany when we got the Rock and Ring Festival and we went out in the I think we both had CDs trying to, and we was like, <laughs> it was, it was like gone in five seconds. We both looked at each other like, what is going Happened. on right on. now? Because for both of us, that was our first trip outside the United States to see yeah. how global hip hop was. So yeah. see, you know, uh, I could spend all day with Jen. I'm only supposed to spend five minutes with you because we got a short period of time, but this is a great example of why we are doing the archives and these are the type of stories and legacies that we want to preserve. Uh, last question before, before uh, I let you go. There's a 12 year old girl with her family um, checking out your archives. Mm. What, is, what message is in there for her? Anything is possible. Mm. You make your life. Mm. You do it and you do it your way. And I don't mean it's going to be easy. Mm-mm. Not going to be easy, but it's going to be worth it. Man, man, I say, I say. Jen, I know you're running. I really appreciate you being able to tap in. Uh, again, this will live on the San Francisco Public Library site. Um, they'll post it shortly and we'll tap in soon. Sounds good. Love you. I'll see uh, you guys love later. You love you too. Love, <laughs> you too. love you too. All right. Um, and with that, um, we are about to be out. Uh, one thing that I wanted to say as we close, um, again, we really thank the San Francisco Public Library. Uh, this is phase one of us uh, beginning a uh, long relationship together. Um, um, a, a quote that I have is, uh, revolution and preservation is a process. And it takes some time. And I'm really proud of what we've been able to do as a community year one. Uh, We really look forward to doing more things like this uh, in a physical space with the San Francisco Public Library. And one of the things that I also wanted to shout the San Francisco Public Library out about is about Bay Beats. Um, Bay Beats is an opportunity for folks from the Bay Area um, to be able to have their music streamed uh, via the San Francisco Public Library. So if you get a chance, look up Bay Beats, um, San Francisco Public Library, and check out some of the great artists in there. I had a chance to spend a day uh, and I listened to blues music. I listened to bluegrass music. I heard some hip hop I hadn't heard before. And I'm humble and happy to report that I was one of the inaugural artists uh, for Bay Beats. Um, I put out an album in 2020 called Forward Future, and uh, I really am uh, happy and proud that it's a part of this new community, and I look forward to seeing more music uh, joining this community moving forward. So I thought what I'd do is to close out that I would share uh, a music video from that album, uh, and I think it's probably really appropriate right now as we are um, hoping for world peace. Um, The name of the song is called Mindfulness. So this is how we will close. This has been Jahi Bay Area Hip Hop Archives. Uh, Please visit us at bayareahiphoparchives.org. Follow us on Instagram at Bay Area Hip Hop Archives. Uh, Follow San Francisco Public Library. Same thing, Instagram at SF Public Library. Uh, Go get you a library card. Uh, Spend some time in any of the local branches in in San Francisco. Uh, Take your family. Libraries are are 
our, our saving grace. Uh, the more we the more we read, the more we grow. And with that, I'm gonna leave you with mindfulness. Mindfulness. What we talking about is mindfulness. Feel it in your spirit. Mindfulness. It's good for your health. Mindfulness. Up early, late night, before the sun rises. Hot tea, candlelight, no electronic devices. It's quiet now. While the world sleeps, I'm awake. Take time to contemplate and give thanks and pump the bass. Self-aware, self-care, taking care of self. Get all the bag you want, but wealth is your real health. Silence outside, opinions about you. And do the inner work, is in the truth, that's the real you. The nighttime is the right time for me to kick a rhyme. 20 years later, still reaching my prime. Without the Amazon or the cameras on, don't want to be a dime. More like a crew, and not the images that are forced upon a psyche. This might be the best thing for your protection as you go and pop to this. Water, meditation, exercise, breathe, life, stand for your rights. This is mindfulness. We talking mindfulness. For your spirit and your soul. Mindfulness. What we talking about is mindfulness. Being present is a gift that don't go under dead trees. We talking 360 degrees, not a codependent, independent, and prolific. Be yourself even when your world of fam don't get it. On your journey, take inventory of your attitude. And OG told me that control your altitude. Emotional well-being, important is being seen and being clean. High characteristics of a human being, we all have faults. We all have doubts and make mistakes and take wrong routes and deal with the breaks. But if you find a quiet place, you can reroute your direction. Mindfulness, kick out fear and depression. Mindfulness. What we talking about is mindfulness. Feel it in your spirit. Mindfulness. It's good for your health. Mindfulness. You see the M is for mind, where all the thoughts start. And I is for intellect, protect at all costs. N is for now and D is for do it. F is for freedom, use it or useless. L is for love, N never neglect. E is for excellence and building mindsets. S is for self and the other S to see. Mindfulness is a jewel, a key to be free. We talking mindfulness. We talking mindfulness. For your spirit and your soul, mindfulness. What we talking about is mindfulness. Mindfulness. What we talking about is mindfulness. Feel it in your spirit, mindfulness. It's good for your health, mindfulness. Mindfulness.